Hi everyone and welcome day three in the kettlebell series and today it's power and strength. The timer is going to be on 45 seconds of work with 15 second rest. The kettlebell I'm going to be using for the entire duration is 12 kg. However, if you have a selection of kettlebells, keep those handy. Also dumbbells. If in particular you're feeling any strain in your wrist and you're quite new to cleans, etc., you can certainly by all means use dumbbells. So yes, there are a lot of cleans in today's workout and also push press. With the push press, I want you to try and focus on driving through the hips and the legs to drive that kettlebell up. However, slow descend, bring it down nice and slow into that rack position. With the cleans, you want to have nice, soft, loose hands. So you don't need to overly grip that kettlebell. The kettlebell should move around your body, round your wrists. Also, the kettlebell should not go upside down. It should be handle up at all times. When you're doing the clean, try to keep the bottom of the kettlebell facing the floor. Also, as I said, a loose grip. You're basically using the hips to drive up, keeping the kettlebell close to the body, and then you're going to move round the kettlebell, slip your hand under into that front position. And it's quite an aggressive shrug in order to bring it up. Hup. So your hands are quite loose at the top and throughout. Nice loose grip. You can also, of course, use dumbbells. I would also suggest to remove your watch and any braces you may be wearing just to prevent any irritation. This is a slow paced workout, however, with elements, of course, of power. Go at your own pace. There's a lot of coordination in today's workout as well. So just take it slow, have fun with it. Change your weights or dumbbells accordingly. And I think that's it. All you will need is your kettlebell or a selection of kettlebells or dumbbells and your mat for cool down. I think you're gonna love this one. Let's go.
I don't care cause you can't pin me down 